There were expectations that the nation's key interest rate may go down even further following last month's cut, but the Bank of Korea decided to keep it unchanged at 2.25 percent. However, our Hwang Ji-hae reports another rate cut may be coming sooner rather than later. The Bank of Korea has chosen to take a wait-and-see approach to judge the impact of last month's rate cut. It decided to leave the key rate steady at 2.25 percent in September following its monthly monetary policy meeting on Friday. Last month's rate cut, the first since May last year, came as the government unveiled a set of aggressive stimulus measures to boost growth. The government has been expressing concerns that the Korean economy might fall into Japan-style stagnation. Pundits say, however, that the bank could lower the rate once more before the year is out. They cite recent government pressure to join efforts aimed at boosting growth. Finance Minister Che kyung hwan said earlier this week that the recovery is still feeble and an expansionary fiscal and monetary policy should support growth for a while. When asked about the European Central Bank's recent decision to cut its rate to a record low, Che said the European Bank had taken a preemptive measure against global economic risks. He added that Korea is also easily swayed by global economic conditions. Che's comments have raised concerns over the Bank of Korea's independence. The central bank governor has said, though, that the bank does not make decisions that stand opposed to its assessment of current economic conditions. Hwang Jie, Arirang News.